In this video, we are going to look at creating shapes within Illustrator. And the first thing I want you to take notice of in the entire Illustrator environment is that we have these things that we call palettes. They are um, they're like tiny little windows that sit on top of your main document that allow you to do uh, different things. So you have here the tools palette. You have over here the color palette. Um, and there's all these different sorts of palettes. And if you go to the window menu, you'll see all of the different palettes that are available. If they have a check by them, they are currently visible on the screen. The other thing to take note is the menu at the top itself is a palette of uh, different settings. And these settings will change depending on what objects we work on in Illustrator. And so for this video, we're going to look at shapes. And the main shape button on the tools palette is over here to the left. And I just want you to notice something. On the tool, certain buttons in the tools palette have a small triangle on the bottom right of each of each tool. Okay? That means that there are more tools available on that same button. So looking at this rectangle tool, if I were to click and hold, what it's going to tell me is there's the rectangle tool, the rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, star, and flare. So there are different types of shapes that you could make by default in Illustrator. For now, we're just going to stick with the rectangle tool. Once I have that selected, I can come over to my drawing, my document um, uh, artboard, and I can just click and drag to create a rectangle. Okay. And so I'm going to introduce a couple of other tools on the tool palette here to the left because they will help us to control how this rectangle behaves. Now the first thing you'll notice is that on the bottom left um, there are two uh, settings for color. There's the fill setting and the outline setting and if I tap on each of them it'll bring it to the forefront. So <clears throat> currently the fill setting is white which means white in the center. If I were to come over to my palette, color palette, and change the color, I could make the rectangle red. Okay. The other thing I can do is make it empty, and that's this button here on the right, but it's also this button down here to the right here. So I'm just going to say empty, and that just means give me a frame, but don't put anything inside it. And generally for laser cutting, the, we will do most of our work in frames like this. 